Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and unfortunately, another unfortunate video on a COVID update as the NHL postponed nine Canadian based home games due to the no fan policies and the Islanders and Wings matchup is postponed as well. Um, a total of nine games from Friday, December 31st through Monday, January 10th, according to the Athletic, will be rescheduled later in the season when restrictions may be eased or lifted, the league said in a statement. The affected games include Friday the 31st, Pittsburgh at Ottawa, and Winnipeg at Calgary for that date. Then it's Monday the 3rd, Carolina at Toronto, Tuesday the 4th, Washington at Montreal, excuse me, Thursday the 6th, Toronto at Montreal, um, so two games at Montreal, back-to-back uh, -back there, and then Seattle, or excuse me, Saturday, January 8th, Buffalo at Montreal, another game at Montreal, and then Seattle at Winnipeg as well on that date, and then Monday, January 10th, Columbus at Montreal, and Minnesota at Winnipeg. Um, then also, the NHL announced the January 12th game between Boston and Montreal will be moved to Boston's TD Garden, a makeup date for the Canadiens' home game against the Bruins will be determined at a later date, so they're going to flip-flop their games and then make up a date for the Canadiens to play up there um, in Montreal at a later date. In addition, Wednesday's game between the Red Wings and Islanders has been postponed uh, due to issues affecting both clubs, the league announced, not just one main club there, uh, to have that game be postponed between the Islanders and Red Wings, and then the Canadians received a request um, from Quebec Public Health on December 16th, ahead of their home game against the Philadelphia Flyers, to close the Bell Center to fans. The team announced that that night they accepted this request, on pro and then also on Monday, the province of Manitoba announced new capacity restrictions to sporting events, and that Jets games at the Canada Life Center will be played without any fans. This change is currently set to expire on January 11th of 2022, so the NHL is pushing back some early January games and late December games to try to be able to play these games because they're trying to have the best revenue for the owners, right? Because these teams were hit hard and there's 50-50 revenue share of the players and owners in the NHL, so they're trying to do what's best for both sides here and trying to make it when they can make the most buck. And also the government of Ontario announced earlier this month that the capacity at Maple Leafs and Senators game would be reduced to 50%. And then Alberta also recently announced on Monday that they set capacity levels for all sporting events to 50% due to the surging COVID-19 cases due to the Omicron variant. So this has been a quick update of more postponements um, released by The Athletic um, due to COVID-19. And the NHL deciding, which is a smart thing, to wait until later to play some of these games when these teams can make up their revenue rather than playing with no fans or just some fans. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Please continue to enjoy the World Juniors and the hockey games that are on. Continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Juice widget to show your love and support and help us get to 185 by the new year. Enjoy the hockey, everybody, and peace out.